The reason we do that is that we want to remove any particles which might be in the glass. So you don't have to start now, just pay attention to what I do, and then hopefully you can do it even better. And then you just take the glass in your right hand or the left hand, depending on which um, hand you use, and then you start tilting it a little bit and pour the beer gently down the side. And you can see the beer is quite clear. After a while and you stop, and you leave a bit in the bottle, about an inch or one and a half inch, and then you swirl the bottle like I do. And that is because we have actually a sediment in the bottle which is called yeast, which is part of the uh, fermentation process. As you remember, it was actually mentioned in the movie, it's a bottle fermentation. And then we pour the rest on top. Then we stop again for a while and then you can roll the bottle or roll it on the table, depending on the situation. And pour it on top. And then we have the final product. This is the way it should be poured. It has a nice head on it, and it's, um, the, the yeast is very nicely suspended in the bottle. And of, course, and of course, the fun part is drinking it, but we come to that later after you pour it yourself. Maybe I should do also the, the dark one. Same procedure. We rinse the glass. Tilt the glass and pour it down on the side. You rinse or uh, shake the bottle a bit and pour it on top. Even better, the more often you do it, the better you get. See? The set is even better. <laughs> All right, so here we have very nice adding a white and adding a dark. <laughs>